right, hey guys. So it is currently 2.04. The boys have a birthday party to go to and it starts at 3.30 and we really wanna leave at like 2.45. So um, they're napping right now. And basically today is the Ravens game. And um, I thought it'd be cute if like we all wore Raven stuff. Well, like I'm not wearing Raven stuff. Actually, one of my friends made this, so cool. And it's purple and some has a Raven shirt, but Jerry doesn't. So I was like, well, Matt actually was the one who was like, instead of buying it, could we have no time? He's like, you can just make something. So I was like, yes, I decided I'm just gonna go with something really easy because I don't have a lot of time. I'm just gonna print the Ravens logo onto a black long sleeve t-shirt that he has. And um, let's see if I can do this. I literally want to, this to only take 10 minutes. The only thing is I don't really do these that often. So I really don't remember the exact steps, but this is what I use. Um, it says it goes well on light and dark right here. And you don't need a fancy printer for this. You just need your regular printer and you can just do it on a regular cotton shirt. So this is like, that's what's really cool about this. So I am going to screen record just so you guys can kind of see. I thought it'd be fun to just like challenge myself to see first if I could do this and then um, show you guys the process. Okay, so I am going to upload an image first. My Cricut has been acting a little bit funky. You can see all this stuff that I've done in the past. Okay, so I already downloaded the um, Baltimore Ravens logo. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say it's complex and this, okay, I was forgetting this. Okay, no, no, apply and continue. Cut image, print, then cut. Okay, I think it's, I think it's print, then cut. So you print this on regular paper and then you put it on the Cricut board so that it has the border and it knows where to cut it. And I think I'm just gonna do that. I mean, I know I can cut it myself, but I think it just makes it a little bit easier like when you weed. I don't know if anyone is familiar, well, it's big, with the whole Cricut process, um, but it's really easy, you know? I don't even need a Cricut to do this. Um, but I'm just using it because I'm being lazy and I don't want to cut it myself. And I just know that the Cricut will do a better job than me. So let's see. So there, you see this little red uh, exclamation point. It means that's too big. So let me see how big it would look if I, oh, no, see, I don't want it to be that big. Can I move it? Cool, okay. Okay, I need to connect it to my Cricut. Sorry about the background, I know it looks crazy. I was just like putting it up because I was like, why not? So I need this. So I'm gonna print it on that first, but let me at least open this, turn it on. So see what I mean? Like I already cut it, but I like to say paper. So I'm gonna try to print it on there. Allow, okay, send to printer. So, so it says preparing to print and then something usually pops up behind it, yep. So I'm gonna just see if this works, guys. I haven't done this in so long. Please work. I don't want to waste the paper. No! Okay, hold on. I don't think it's gonna work. It was gonna, yeah, so hold on. Okay, I'm gonna print on Photoshop. Sorry, I'm being all over the place right now. So I'm gonna try to print it lower. Why is it doing that? Okay, I'm trying this one more time. I don't know why it goes all the way down. Okay, well, I know it's not gonna go interfere with that black now. Sorry if you don't understand what I was trying to do. I just decided to not do the Cricut and to cut it myself. So hopefully this prints well. Ooh, it looks pretty good. It printed out very vibrant, woohoo. Okay, so I got my image. I'm going on the Cricut Heat Guide website now. It's definitely iron on. Yeah, okay, this says 340, 30 seconds. I'm gonna trust that. She had 360, 30 seconds. I'm definitely gonna try 30, 340. I've done this before where it was too hot and then it just messed it up. So I'll do 340, 30 seconds. I believe the shirt is still in the dryer. So I'm just gonna cut this out. So normally it'd be nice if I had it on the board and then I was able to cut it out because eventually I'll have to peel this off. It might be a little bit more challenging to peel off, but it's definitely possible. So I'm going to cut it. If you're a beginner with Cricut um, and if you think it's challenging, um, it is. <laughs> so like, I don't want to like discourage anyone, but like 
it's definitely a learning curve. The number of times that I've messed up projects, cause there's so many different things you can do. My favorite uses of Cricut and heat presses actually more so I should say, not, not really Cricut. Cause I feel like you can actually get away with not having Cricut with some of the projects that I've done at least for me personally. But I, I love having everything and Matt got me most of it for like birthdays or holidays and stuff. So it looks like so far. But my favorite things to do are making shirts. Like I love infusing the photo onto the shirt. That's probably my number one favorite thing because it's such an easy gift to do. You just have to have the right um, paper, which is pretty inexpensive. And then you have to have the right printer. Um, and then that's not just it. You get the right printer, but you actually have to switch out the ink with what they call sublimation ink. And that can actually be very confusing because the way that I rigged my printer to switch out, I had to suck all of that printer ink out to just uh, add sublimation ink to it. And I don't know, I, I don't know how I successfully did it. I watched so many tutorials. I don't know why they don't just, maybe they do sell printers like that, but maybe it's just not, it's just much more expensive. So like people found a way to like, kind of like finesse it. <laughs> but that's my favorite is just infusing the photo on it. Like, you know on Etsy when they say like custom photo and the photo is like, a part of the photo. Actually, there's a lot of examples. Matt will sometimes wear this shirt with his face on it. Like that is never coming off. It's just infused into the cotton. Whereas this one I'm about to print, it's gonna be like, you're gonna be able to feel it. It's gonna be on top. It's still gonna be a part of the shirt and it's still not, well, the idea is that it shouldn't come off, but I made um, Jerry a Ninja Turtles shirt right before we went to the movies. I always do things last minute and it still has not come off. It's really good. I'll think of it almost like a sticker, but like, a permanent sticker if that makes sense so if I do this right it'll look really really good and uh, yeah so I love doing images but there's different ways that you could do it this like I said can be done anyone can do this you do not need a fancy printer you probably already have the right printer for this all you need is the right paper and it'll it should say like iron on and then it's best if you get the one best for like dark fabrics so um, yeah, it's, if it sounds like I'm speaking another language, I'm so sorry, but I'm just really interested in it because I love giving gifts and I just know that custom gifts are so great. Like people love that. And um, yeah, so here's the bird. Cricket didn't need to do that for me. So let me throw all these away. I need to get in the habit of like cleaning my mess properly as soon as I make a mess. So it's 219, gotta get the boys in like 10 minutes, literally. Okay, um, I'm gonna go upstairs though because I think the shirt should be done drying. Let me heat up my Cricut so that by the time I come back downstairs, I can um, just like literally put it on. Okay, it is nice and dry, literally just dried not too long ago. This is the shirt I'm gonna do it on and I'm gonna change the angle so you guys can see what I'm about to do. And the Cricut is at 185, we need it to be at 340. So I actually messed up and like got ink on this so every time <laughs> I like, transfer anything that always shows up on the back so i always put like this butcher paper which is what it's called on the bottom of whatever i'm heating transferring something on guys i feel like i only have one shot i mean i technically don't but in terms of time i really only have one shot so i need to make sure this works this is gonna look so perfect i almost wish it was bigger oh my gosh i forgot the most important step so it's still heating up thank god i remembered you have to peel the backing off which is where the Cricut comes in handy because it already kind of like, if you ask, did, did the print cut, it kind of already cuts it for you and then it's really easy to peel, but I actually got it right here. So it becomes a really thin material. And if you do not do this, it literally won't work. Cause like I said, it's kind of like a sticker. It's not sticky. Look how satisfying that is. It's not sticky, but in the sense that you need to peel it off. Look, it's so fragile and thin. And so that's what, oh, and it's done. Okay, I'm so glad I remembered to do that. Okay, do not make that mistake. So now I'm gonna put this on there like pretty much in the middle and you have to put the butcher paper on or it will be too hot. And I looked online, can you use parchment paper? They really recommend against it. Okay, actually I'm gonna have to move because the wire is all the way there. Don't mind those. I should probably have a better setup for this, but I don't. And I'm okay with that. Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm gonna press it down. I don't wanna like move it around like this cause then I might um, 
accidentally like shift the photo itself if that makes sense but okay let's take it out oh no oh no i messed up no why did i mess up what happened what did i do wrong i'm trying to understand what i did wrong why did it go on there i need to watch another tutorial Okay, so at this point I was frustrated and short of time. So I didn't even film myself like talking. I just filmed myself doing it. And basically you saw I accidentally put it on the wrong side. I was just flustered, but I redid this and I found out that the key here was to barely press down. Woohoo! <laughs> okay guys, I literally was not talking the whole time because I was so nervous. I finally got it. Apparently you just cannot apply pressure. like. Even maybe just leaving it there, and I just rarely did. That's why I keep doing more. Um, but look at that. It is definitely stuck to the shirt. Guys, I'm so happy I got it. Ah! And it looks so good. It's more vibrant. Okay, so here's the shirt. I made a huge mistake, as you saw uh, earlier. And honestly, this probably isn't on the best but I think it's on pretty good. So the key is to not apply pressure. Like literally that's what infused it onto this butcher paper. Like it looks good on here, well kind of, but yeah, this is perfect. It's not like the cutest, I didn't have much time, but now it's literally 2.33, gotta get the boys cause we gotta leave in like 10 minutes. So yay, excited, Woo! Hope you guys enjoyed, let me know. I was getting like mad, which is why I was not talking while I did the redo. Um, but I think I would put voiceover in there. So hope you guys enjoyed.